Okay, well, no country has ever grown without being open to trade. So trade increases productivity, it spreads innovation, it helps economies reallocate resources where they can be used most efficiently. All of that's good, it raises incomes, it raises the standards of living. But it is very disruptive, so there's a lot of calls to say, let's cut off trade. But protectionism isn't the answer, because protectionism actually harms those it's supposed to protect. So think about um, low-income households. Tariffs hit low-income households highest. So tariff protection is highest on things like food and clothing on which poor households spend relatively more of their income. Trade protection also cuts off jobs. In a world of global value chains, it's not just exports that mean jobs, but also imports. Imports help create your own exports. They may even include some of your own previous exports and their necessary inputs into your own domestic industries. And all of that means jobs. So if we don't want to cut off trade, how do we actually help people and address some of the concerns? We think you've got to do two things, three things. First is you need to create the conditions at home, the domestic policies that mean more people can benefit from trade. That means cutting the costs of trading through things like trade facilitation, but also investments, investments in infrastructure, in investments in people, in education, from early childhood to lifelong learning. Secondly, you need to do more to bring everybody along. And that means not just trade adjustment, not just displaced worker adjustment, but all the investments for inclusive growth. And lastly, you need to do more on international economic cooperation to make sure that everybody plays by the rules and that the rules cover a global economy. But maybe the most important thing nowadays is to broaden the conversation on trade. More people can be part of the debate, understand the trade-offs, give their point of view, so that governments have a better idea of what the impacts of trade are going to be up front and everybody has a chance to have their say about the kinds of future that they want, the kinds of jobs that they want and the role of trade in helping deliver that.